But airline mergers have traditionally meant job losses, especially in the airline's hub cities, as well as fewer flight options for passengers in smaller cities and higher ticket prices. In Atlanta, we found frequent travelers fearing that's exactly what could happen. And it may not be just Delta and Northwest. With jet fuel prices up 165% in five years, squeezing airline profits, there's speculation Continental and United Airlines could also consider tying the knot. Because, say analysts, the Bush administration might be more willing to approve an airline deal than a Clinton or Obama administration. In Congress, there's already opposition. Competition is what is keeping prices reasonable today. If you eliminate competition, uh, the fewer airlines you have, the fewer choices people have. No relation, by the way, to Representative Costello. We can tell you that KLM Air France is also right now talking about investing in a new Northwest Delta merger. The big hang-up right now is really about the pilots trying to integrate those two separate workforces. If they can do that, Matt, they may have a deal in the next few days. Yeah. Back to you. Uh -huh.